today we're going to be taking a look at Vani HQ, which is a totally new application that Zoho has just released. This application is in the world of something like a Miro or a Lucidchart, essentially a collaborative tool for diagramming things like flowcharts, mind maps, and general planning. So we're going to take a look at the landing page for the site, some of the features, benefits, and then we're also going to jump into my Vani account. And I'll kind of show you around the application just a little bit as an overview. So with that, let us jump right in. So here we are on the Vani HQ homepage. You might be thinking, hey, I've bumped into this before. That's totally possible. This application has kind of been floating around for a little bit here, but this is its like full and final, you know, release state. So what is Vani? It is essentially a competitor for things like Miro, things like Lucidchart, essentially the ability to create different graphics, things like, you know, your flowcharts, your checklists, your kind of general ideation different types of shapes and tables and annotations that you can do on these. And of course, you can work on them in a collaborative environment. It does also come out of the box with a ton of different templates. I'm a big fan of templates as they do save you quite a lot of time on setting something up right out of the gate. I think one of the big features that they're going for with Vani is the ability to collaborate. So things like, you know, being able to see each other's cursors, comment on things, set up different types of sharing and visibility rules, even leave like voice notes on the library itself. One of the big things too that I want to highlight is this catch up feature, which I think is actually pretty slick. It's kind of the idea of like, let's say you and one of your team members are both working on this at the same time. You can just click this catch up button and it basically starts like an audio call while you're on with that person, right? So just, I don't need to call you separately on Zoom or on Click or on Zoho Meeting. I can just actually do that natively directly through the sheet. A lot of the big things to stay organized here are different zones, which are kind of like a page within one of these. You can create different frames and I'll be showing some of these, which are like sections or areas. Of course, you have the ability to make flowcharts. That's going to be one of the most core things here that we see. Mapping tools, creating pins and callouts, and then Zen mode, which basically removes like everything, right? Everything that isn't necessary just goes away so that you can really focus on it. One thing that we've been doing with this actually is also the external sharing. So you do have the ability to invite people that are not part of your organization to see and interact with these particular sheets. And of course, you can export them as PDFs, PNGs, really whatever you need. So if you need to get this out of Vani and show it to somebody else, that's not going to be an issue. Really, a lot of the solutions around here are things like brainstorming. So kind of those initial types of notes and organization, things like whiteboarding, right? So kind of one step after your brainstorm, getting a little bit more specific and detailed about it. And then, of course, the ability to create flowcharts. Obviously, in what we do, the world of software implementation, we make a lot of flowcharts. We've actually been using this internally for quite a bit now, and it's solid. You know, being candid, there are a couple of those ease of use features that we do notice aren't there from something like Lucidchart. But the team is super responsive, and they're working to add a lot of those. So I don't really expect they're going to be lacking for very long. Nice thing here, again, just as you're looking at it, you've got that like wide variety of different types of connectors and shapes. And then they do have infinite canvas, which I really like, just personal preference. Like I'd rather have a large canvas than multiple pages because a lot of the times like something on page one should actually connect to page two. And so being able to just graph that out can be a bit of an improvement. And then before we jump into the demo, I do want to mention the pricing. It's a lot cheaper than something like Lucidchart. And I'll tell you, I won't do my full rant about it, but as a former customer of Lucidchart's like business tools and team products, the way they do sales and outreach is pretty darn annoying. Basically, my experience was every month or so, our account would get shuffled to somebody else who would then reach out as if it's the first time anyone's reached out to me and try to upsell me a bunch of stuff that I don't need. This pricing, five bucks a month per user for the team edition, four bucks if you're annual, and then that's just that. There's not like nine different tiers of features that they're gonna try to upsell you. It's like, cool, just get the team one. That's everything, you're good. You don't really need to worry about it. They don't do like the buckets of users. That was another thing with Lucidchart that was frustrating is for the team edition, you had to buy users in buckets of like five or 10 or something like that. And so if I had 32 employees on, I just have to pay for three licenses that I'm not using. That was always kind of annoying to me. So just, I like the pricing model on this. And I like that you're dealing with Zoho. So like, you know what you're getting. You're not dealing with like 
you know, the lucid chart VC funded always going to try to squeeze you for an extra dollar. So I did just want to mention pricing here compared to a lot of the competitors, really good, really affordable. So well worth taking a look at. Now, before we jump into the demo of the product itself, I do want to ask if you're finding the video useful so far, be sure to like and subscribe down below. Totally free way to let us know that you're enjoying the video. If this sparks any questions, comments, or if there's anything where you're like, hey, I do this in lucid chart all the time. Can I do it in Bonnie? Make sure to leave those down in the comments section. I'll be going through as many of those as I can get to. Over here inside of Vani, I'm in my favorites here as I have some things in my all that I'm not able to share. So I favorited a couple ones that we use internally. Essentially, each of these different spaces is going to show up like this as a little call out box. I can open up these directly into that particular space and get right to work. So this is a quick one that we put together a long time ago just for like a very high level overview of scoping a potential third party integration. So similar to what you're used to inside of something like Lucidchart, you kind of have like your core elements here, right? Traditionally, you'll have that box that would be like a process step or a particular, you know, action that you're going to take. I've always used diamonds as kind of like my decision, right? So if I know that I'm going to make a decision at a certain point, I do a diamond where one side is, you know, one option and one side is the other. That seems to be pretty much like the standard flow of how you're going to use these. And so as I go through, I can just note out any of these particular boxes. I can leave my little sticky notes on the side if there's some additional notes that I want to take. And all of those are just click and drag directly from this left hand menu. Now, again, I always like to be candid as I go through these. They don't have quite the wealth of shapes that you might be used to inside of other tools, but they're adding them quickly, right? So you're not going to be missing them for very long. Here under advanced shapes is really where I pull a lot of these for particular like actions and process steps, as well as here, you'll see they'll kind of notate these as you normally would, like this is a decision, this is multiple documents, and you kind of always visualize them the same way. I do recommend if you're new to a flow charting tool to try to use these as much as possible, just because when you hand this over to somebody else and they see a diamond, they're going to go, cool, that's a decision, right? So the more that you can normalize, the better. If I wanted to like continue extending off of these, I can go ahead and just click out. You'll then see your different options here as kind of like the most commonly used one. So if I did want to add a new decision, for example, I can do that just directly from the little like extender. So if I click in, I go to here, I can click that and boom, there's my next decision. You can also go over them with your kind of bulk select and remove. Again, pretty similar to like what you would expect with a tool like this. Just that ability to quickly grab different types of images, objects, frames, and drop them in. Now, outside of the flow charting options, we do also have the ability just to like brainstorm and frame some things out. So this is actually one that uh, a look behind the curtain. This is probably a video that's going to be coming to the channel before too long here is let's say I wanted to make a quick image, just like comparing different types of automation tools inside of the CRM, right? So this not really like a flow chart, right? Maybe I would add a flow chart to this for some type of like decision tree, like, hey, do you need to send an email? Do you need to control a process, right? And you can kind of flow chart. But for this, I'm mostly just using things like frames, right? Where I've kind of like dragged in a frame size and then sized it out. Here, I just added like lines, right? So I just went in elements. I grabbed one of these connectors or straight lines. I drew them out and then I color coded pros and cons, added some text, which you can do bulleted lists in and then, you know, typed out all my content. As Zoho is always adding new ones of these, let's say I was like, oh shoot, you know what? Command center also exists. I could just select this, do a copy, do a paste. And then now I could rename this for like, you know, command center. Right. So you've got all of those kind of like text editor and documentation tools that you're used to natively built in here. You'll also see like as you'd expect, some of these like auto center and connection red lines are going to pop up. So if I want to make sure that, you know, everything is centered and proper, it's going to help me do that. Working with the text is really simple. So like in here, I just go in. I'm working with these as normal. So maybe I wanted to add a con for like command center is really tricky to learn. That would be like a con as a part of that. And I can just drop that directly into my text editor and it goes right where I left it. Overall, like in terms of like designing a document, making a flow chart, really solid application. 
The one thing I'll note is, again, like I mentioned earlier, there are some of those like ease of use things that are not as intuitive. An example of one of those, just because, again, I always like to be candid with you guys, is let's say that you dropped in something like a decision, right? And you're going to branch one way or the other. Like you'll notice like when I hover this here, it doesn't auto connect to that line, right? We're like in something like um, Lucid Chart, it's going to, you know, assume and connect a little bit easier. Or like here in Lucid Chart, if I were to start typing, it would just type into this decision line where here I need to double click and now I can type my decision, right? So again, there's some of those little odds and ends that are like a little less intuitive than what you might be used to in a different tool, but you're saving a huge amount of money and Lucichart isn't emailing you every three days trying to upsell you different things on your license that you have no need for. So you take the pros with the cons, but overall, I think it's a really good tool. I know that they're very receptive to feedback. So if you do jump on here, you can reach out to their team and let them know if there are any of those things that you'd like to see get adjusted. Up here in the top right is where you're going to have a lot of those sharing features. I think right now I'm actually on the free edition of this, so I don't have all of those. But you can actually share this to either your team or people external who have access to the link. So, of course, you do, I think, for external sharing, you have to have the paid edition internal you can actually just share them to other people within your small organization you can also grab any embed code so if i want to like drop this on a website i've got my iframe that i can put right in we can leave comments you can kind of see the whole flow of this overall honestly like it's pretty darn good right and especially for like v1 of this product at the price that they're charging for it i think it's well worth at least giving it a try i do know what you're probably thinking is like, man, how am I going to get all my stuff in here? If you are migrating from something like Miro, Jamboard, Visio, or Draw.io, they do actually have an import tool. I've seen this run on, I think it was a Miro one that I saw, and it actually pulled it over really nicely. They looked mostly identical to what they had in Miro. Unfortunately, you'll notice Lucid Chart is conspicuously missing here. Unfortunately, if you are moving from them, you're going to have to brute force it a little bit. So apologies in advance that could create some pain and suffering but for the money that you save it could very well be worth it so that's kind of the high level here on vani hq i will also mention they're rolling out some ai tools for this that you can in fact enable and those ai tools are essentially going to give you the ability to ideally like create a space and let's say start with a vani and say hey i want to make a flow chart make me a standard lead processing workflow flowchart. I've actually not tried this before, so let's just see exactly how this works. But I do love the idea of being able to start with some type of imagery that's generated by an AI tool, which then I can go in and make adjustments. So I can just click add to zone. Um, of course, this is pretty basic, <laughs> right? Like if I wanted this to do better, I probably need to put in things like how I process them, right? I want to do three phone calls. I want to do, you know, a meeting after that phone call. During the meeting, I want to gather these five pieces of information. So if you were to give it a lot more, it'd probably do a much more specific job where like this case is like pretty high level because I gave it basically nothing to work with. Um, but I really do like the idea of being able to start here. You'll notice these are editable. It didn't do this as like an image. So I can come in and actually make adjustments to this based on my particular flow. So I would recommend giving that a try as you jump into Vani as it could reduce quite a lot of time for you just to write out what you're looking to do. And then this thing can actually take it and run with it and get you pretty darn close. Overall, I'm pretty excited for this one. Uh, personally, I was getting increasingly annoyed with some of the other options that were on the market. So I was really ready for a Zoho version of this product to come to market. And I'm really curious to hear from you guys down below in the comment section what you think. Um, have you had a chance to play with this yet? Again, it has kind of been floating around for a little bit before this like official release. So I'm curious to hear if anyone has any feedback or anything that they're using it for or any adjustments they'd like to see made. While you're down there leaving that comment, make sure to like and subscribe as that is a totally free way to help us out and let us know that you're enjoying the content. With that, I think we're ready to wrap up here for this week. So as always, my name is Tyler Colt and I will see you next time.